Hi, Charles Bowman here. Well, in this short video, I'd like to do a, just a broad comparison of the EcoFlow units and maybe help you decide which one would work best for you. Thanks for watching. Well, I decided to get in the van. It's a pretty day, but it's a bit cold. If you're new to my channel, my wife and I are in the middle of a 2018 Ford Transit medium roof van build. And I say we're more than in the middle. We're past it, moving along really well, uh, getting ready to uh, put shiplap, bring the furniture in, and uh, get closer to winding this up. Um, we asked some companies if they would like to be corporate partners, be a part of our van build. And so we have six or seven major corporate partners, including EcoFlow, especially EcoFlow. Uh, I did a review of their Delta. I asked them to send me one to review. We took it to Colorado last summer, and that's when I decided to sell my truck and get this transit and do the van conversion. At that time, we were camping with a small camper made by Runaway, and we still have it. We're going to be using it with grandkids, but we're excited about uh, this new venture. When I contacted EcoFlow after the trip and told them what we were doing, uh, they were happy to jump in. They sent us a second Delta 1300 um, and some solar panels. Recently, they sent the River 600 with the MAX module, and just a few day, days ago, the River 600 Pro with the uh, smart battery. And so, um, they are a big part of our build, and so this is wired uh, for to run a lot of 12-volt things plus AC. I've got 30 amp service coming in, uh, but when we don't have shore power, with these units, uh, we are more than set. And so, I just wanted to, uh, I'm just going to do a really quick walkthrough here. I've got videos about these. Um, there will be a more involved review. Um, this is the second video I'm releasing today. Uh, the other was a little more detail about the River 600 Pro, so I'm not going to get too deep with them. So, what are you going to do if you want to buy these? Buy one of these, and how do I decide between this and that? Because there are some similarities for sure. Well, let's just start real quickly with the, with the Delta. Uh, it's getting in the shade here, but uh, it's the much bigger unit. It's uh, 31 pounds, but more importantly, it's very powerful, and it's got... Um, it's rated at 1260 watt hours. I will probably say watts most of the time, but um, that's what it is. But more importantly, this can do a surge up to 3300. It's got six AC outlets um, and all the standard USB ports. I'm not going to get into all those details, but they're all pretty much the same with the USB, with the A and the C and the, uh, the power one, um, the cigarette port, uh, port uh, that's 12 volt regulated. And um, all those things are pretty basic with all of these. Um, but the thing about this unit is it can handle so many more appliances. Uh, I even ran a 5000 BTU air conditioner in our little camper for six and a half hours with this. I drained it to zero. Um, you know, you, you have a limit on everything. And that's what I always tell people. you got to do the math, always. I just say it over and over again. Um, but the, this unit, I've run um, a microwave to heat something up, a coffee pot, and that's what we're going to be doing in here. Not the biggest microwave. We're, we're going to be smart about it. Buy a smaller one. Um, and to make this work, so you, you just have to know what the power needs are of the appliances. But this can run an awful lot of them for sure. Um, and the great thing about this unit is, and all of them, is they have the extreme technology where you can s charge so fast, four to five times faster than the other lithiums out there. And so basically with these from zero to 80 in a... Um, about an hour and zero to a hundred in about an hour point six they say uh, I ran this to zero and recharged it in an hour and 42 minutes very capable unit more money but boy it can run a lot of things that's for sure then when we get to the river 600 uh, max I've got the module on here and so that means um, it takes this one um, each unit in here is a 288 watts so that takes it up to 576 and um, now we're talking three outlets, AC outlets. We've got six over here, three outlets each on these. Um, so this has 576 watts, um, and it can take up to a 1,200-watt surge, so not nearly as much as the one over here with the Delta. Um, and you can see that the form factor, they are about the same, aren't they? Uh, the, uh, the Pro really does look like, and I've actually picked one up and thought I had the other, uh, but there is a difference, of course, with the power. But they have, other than that, the front panel and um, the uh, surge capability um, is, is the same with both of these. Um, and they both weigh around 16 pounds. This one, the, uh, the battery is about, I think, 14 pounds or so um, that goes with the Pro. And so you've got um, 
576 here, 720 watts here, and 720 watts here, or 1440 when you hook them together with the cables I mentioned in my short little R600 quick look. So, how do you decide? Well, not going to be your life coach. I can't spend your money for you. Um, you know, if I could, I would tell you to get the Delta. You know, because just because it can run so many things. But here's a possible tip: if you go with the smaller units. Uh, regardless of the power you need, remember 576, 720, 720, um, you could get by if maybe you had get a smaller microwave or get a tw get a 12 volt coffee pot. They are there's 12 volt about everything, and you want to run as many things you, as you can 12 volt or USB um, because when you plug these anything in a regular appliance, it turns the inverter on, and uh, that has some overhead. It will use up some power, but the great thing is how fast they can charge. For example, at Rocky Mountain National Park last year, one day I ran this down, you know, not terribly, but below 50%, walked over to the bathroom across from our campsite in the middle of the day. I, I planned this because I knew there would be almost no one there. Went to the bathroom, plugged it in, just stayed outside, and every now and then I talked to somebody. Somebody come in, I go, oh, my battery's in there charging. I mean, it uh, I think it took me, I plugged it in for maybe 30, 40 minutes, I was back to 100%. So you can go to if you go to a laundromat, which you will if you're doing much camping, uh, you'll be fine. So for the average camper, I think any of these will work really well. If you're a full timer, uh, a van lifer, uh, you may need the full blown solar with all those hundred uh, watt hour uh, big battery things. But um, that's how technical I get. Um, but for I think for the average camper, these kind of all in ones solve it. It makes it m uh, really easy to work with, and you don't have to. Um, add all those pieces together, which is not impossible at, uh, by any means whatsoever, but I just like the all-in-one aspect. So what you're going to need to do is look at the appliances, look at the things that you want to run, and see does the math work only with the Delta, or can I do it with the 576 watt um, River 600 Max, or do I need more power? And so I'll get, you would get both of these, made, for example, so I get you up to 1440 watts. Um, and with that same 1200 watt uh, surge. So do your math and I think um, anybody would find these useful. Even, even uh, full-time band lifers, I think it'd be, you, you, probably, you really need one of these all-in-ones. There are times where it's going to be very, very handy for you. Um, and so um, that's just sharing a few thoughts. Do your math, see what you think. Uh, you can ask me questions, but I don't really want, I, I'm not going to answer about each specific appliance. Look at the specs, see what they need, to see which one of these will work for you and um, I think you'll be happy the EcoFlow products are just great and thanks for watching